one of the highlights of the UWS calendar is the Union's Music Festival, and the 2010 festival looks like it won't disappoint. 18 acts, two stages and absolutely hundreds of music fans. This podcast will include interviews from The Excess. Al McKim Marvel Heights and Pacific Theatre I'm outside the UWS Student Union in Paisley for a night of live music First person I caught up with was Paisley's very own Michael Cassidy Fresh from coming off the unplugged stage, he started by describing what it is he does. I, I called it alt folk, kind of alternative folk. I think that's basically what it is because there's definite, definite uh, kind of bluesy, folksy elements, like the classic kind of bands, like your New Youngs and stuff. But also there is a kind of alternative and kind of modern edge to it. Four seasons and one day. It's been good. I caught a band called Dielectrics earlier on downstairs in the, kind of the rockier bit. And uh, it was really good, a good, good sound, great atmosphere, lots of young, good looking people, girls, boys, uh, enjoying themselves and upstairs as well. It was quite a. The acoustic stage was. I really liked it because uh, maybe I could have got softer music and didn't go down amazingly, but the faster one people seemed to definitely more receptive to and they were definitely put it in. Marvel Heights have been cutting about for a few years now. They've played on the same bill as such acts as Pill and Tini and The Panics. Radio play from Vic Galloway and Jim Galletly have strengthened their name. Some bovine mixes and their new EP are well worth checking out online. I caught up with them before they absolutely tore up the Union's Fuck Thursdays live stage. I'm Neil. I'm Andy. I'm Sarah. I'm Andy. I'm Andy. <laughs> Great, okay, there's going to be a lot of Andy. What are you looking forward to about, about this music festival? The great bands, man. The, the guys who've booked the bands have done an unbelievable job. Really, I'm really, really impressed, man. Um, it's been a, it's a great lineup and, uh, and I'm and playing, obviously. And, uh, and the beautiful UWS students, because they are a glorious bunch. What are we going to expect for your set tonight then? Hopefully it'll be pretty high energy. There's a couple of slower ones in there, but mostly a couple of new songs as well that we've not played before. So um, just uh, f- first gig of the decade. I think we just keep changing our minds about what we want to do, and we want to take time out and write good songs. Like we're getting we're getting older, we're getting more mature. So like, it's well, pretty sad, well, isn't it, man? It's sad, TV but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Musically, you wanna you wanna do the best you can. So yeah, you wanna you wanna. Do you wanna ready to do it, man. Yeah. yeah. So we took our time and we wrote some new songs we're really really happy with, and then. Um, playing them now, so, yep. Al McKim headlines the acoustic stage this year. His new EP, Law of Attraction, is making an absolutely massive impact. Alan, how you doing? I'm very well, thanks, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing not too bad. So you're headlining the acoustic stage at the music festival. Um, how do you feel about the festival so far? You've been here for a wee bit. Uh, so far, the atmosphere is absolutely awesome, man. Uh, great uh, display of local musicians. I just keep bumping into loads of people, seem to know that are uh, on the scene right now, man. And it's a lot, a lot of good stuff happening, you know. Good, a lot of good shit going on, Jeff. A lot of good shit. I'll know what songs I want to play by the end of the set, but in which order I won't know until. I'll just, I've, got, I've got a list of songs that I'd like to play, and then I'll sort of decipher the, uh, the actual order whilst I'm up there, I think. We released the EP last month called The Law of Attraction, and uh, it's been on iTunes and all that. It seems to be selling quite well. Uh, did the video, that was awesome, man. That was great fun. Um, but no, doing an acoustic EP next, probably. So I think before the album, I might, I'm just going to go for a real healthy, organic, acoustic EP. But that's literally, literally just been decided. Uh, that's the idea I'm having right now, put it that way. Our 
exclusive interview with the excerpts. But first, warming up in more ways than one for the headliners of the live stage are local lads Pacific Theatre. Coming off the stage absolutely covered in sweat, but they didn't seem to mind the atmosphere. Very sweaty and uh, exhilarated. But, uh, pretty warm, eh? it's pretty warm in that stage. It's pretty hot up there. Uh, would you rather that though, have a nice wee tight sweaty atmosphere than uh, be oh, playing to a big open air one? That's the best kind of atmosphere. That's the kind of idea Definitely. we had for the, the, what it was going to be like, so I mean it's, it's perfect. So how how is the crowd so far? Do you think they're just warming up, or do you, uh, they've got more to well, offer tonight? Definitely warm temperature-wise, but in terms <laughs> of musical, we've got a lot to come. We've got the excerpts. Uh, Probably the, the best band so. in the UK. Uh, like, and obviously, anyone that's listening to this will think I'm just saying that, but I do genuinely believe it. Murphy genuinely believes it. Definitely my favourite band just now. No, like, by no, no not favourite band. <laughs> the best band <laughs> in the UK. The best band. <laughs> Right. They're, they're utterly incredible. Excerpts, excerpts, excerpts. No, we've been doing a lot of shows uh, across Scotland this month. Uh, we've been writing a lot of new songs and uh, we're going to be releasing a single at the end of the summer with Carnivores, another band, like Split Single kind of idea. So we're really looking forward to getting involved with that. Um, but apart from that, I'm just going to try and see, just keep having fun really. I mean, it's that's awesome. what it's about. <laughs> From the bright lights of Aberdeen to the even brighter lights of New York where this band recorded their album, the excerpts are headliners tonight. They'll be playing in the Fuck Thursdays live stage. I caught up with them just before they went on. Uh, I'm Tom and I play the drums. I'm Murray, I sing and play guitar. Yeah, really excited. This is our first time in Paisley, um, and the lineup's really strong. There's a lot of people here, so so yeah, really excited. So the only is the, like the second date of our tour as well, so we're all feeling fresh. Yeah, uh, we went over to New York for three weeks in March. Uh, recorded it with a guy called Mike Sapone, who has worked with the likes of Brand New and Taking Back Sunday and bands like Public that. Public Enemy. Yeah, public enemy. Nice, nice, uh, nice face to work uh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So we went out there to Long Island, a place called Beth Page, and recorded in his basement studio. That must and have been some experience. Oh, it was incredible. <laughs> Mike's such a dude. Uh-huh. Like, like, yeah, he's like a firm friend so now, mm-hmm. so it's great. And then not too long after, you're in Paisley. So I mean, it's all it's all going up, isn't it? Don't need to get better. I'm a bit sweaty and do you know what, my ears are ringing but it's been absolutely worth it. Tonight has been amazing. Until the next music festival, I bid you farewell. I've been Jeff O'Donnell and this has been a UWS Student Union podcast.